Well, it's the end of February 2010 and are getting closer to the end. The end is in sight for the winter up here in the frozen tundra of Saskatchewan. And what do geocachers do in the winter time? Well, there's always coyote hunting. There's always dreaming about geocaching. And then there is also getting ready for the next season of geocaching. Well, if you remember my last how-to camouflage uh, geocache video, I was uh, showing you how to make these kind of designs here. Something similar to this, uh, this, or probably this kind of pattern there. And uh, I found a new way of, of doing some, some geocache camouflage, and I thought I'd share that with you here too. And so it's basically the same kind of thing. You take your your lock and lock container, and uh, Got to have a walk and lock, got to have the gasketed seal for that good waterproofness. And you, uh, you take it here and you scuff it up on the edges, or on all the surfaces with uh, sandpaper. But this is a uh, wet sandpaper, super fine grit stuff. And you, uh, you get this all uh, scuffed up so the paint adheres to it. And then we'll take you to the next step. So normally you want to make sure that you're setting up your geocache uh, prep painting area outside where it's nice and ventilated and you don't have any wind. Today uh, we're up here in Canada we got some uh, some snow out here so you're not supposed to do this below a certain temperature but we've got some major solar gain happening here on this south side. So we're going to go ahead and do this. The, everything is heated up nice and warm and uh, we're going to, after you got your lock and lock container all scuffed up, then it's time to apply your first base coat of whatever color you wish. In this case today, we're going to be going with good old ultra flat Krylon camouflage in whatever this is, some type of awesome green. Okay, so that first base layer is applied and uh, now what we're going to do is uh, just let this dry. Can says it sets up in 15 minutes. We got the major solar gain in the sun today, so it shouldn't take that long. So while well, we're still uh, we're still waiting for that uh, geocache container to set up and dry. I just thought I'd talk a little bit more about this technique for this new method. I've also got my uh, Krylon camouflage khaki and brown, which we're going to use for the uh, other coats for this cache. But the technique is really cool. Uh, what you do is you take um, Peli Mulante or uh, cling wrap, and uh, what you do is you rip off a piece enough to cover the cache container and uh, and then what you do is you uh, you spray on a real thick coat of these other colors after your base coat and then you use the uh, the saran wrap to cover over the cache container and you can put your designs into it your camouflage pattern uh, moving around the paint and then you pull off the uh, the saran wrap and it leaves this really cool pa camouflage pattern and so I'll show you what that looks like. All right so after you get your uh, second coats on of uh, whatever colors you wish whatever diagonal pattern you want to go with then you uh, while it's still wet and thick put the paint on pretty thick then you wrap it up with this uh, with the saran wrap here okay and cover it all over the container and then what's going to happen is, is that you can kind of get the idea when you pull the saran wrap off the outside of the container is going to have a really kind of neat design and the cool part about this is you can kind of work it in and kind of be creative in terms of what kind of you know pattern and color you want to put on this using the saran wrap. So 
this is the bottom of the cache. I'll just try to peel this off here, see if I can do this uh, while recording. But yeah, so you just kind of gently, you know, move it around, mush it around, and then you gently uh, pull off the, the saran wrap. And then it leaves these kind of really cool camouflage pattern underneath. And you start to pull it off. Kind of neat, eh? All right, so the paint here is uh, pretty much uh, starting to set up and dry. And I had peeled off the uh, saran wrap, and you can kind of see the uh, the pattern that this makes on here. I'll hold it up with uh, with a backlight here, and uh, you can see through it in this case. But uh, the pattern that it gives for camouflage is pretty cool. So this is what this ends up looking like. You kind of have this really neat pattern all over it. Um, if you use different colors, you'll pick those all up as they mesh and inter intermingle. I think it would look really cool on like an ammo box or something that has a real solid base color already on it. And then if you did this camel pattern on it, it would, it would you know, highlight it more and even bring out this, uh, this concept even better than on a, a lock and lock container. But in the end, you know, rough job, but not, not too shabby. Thank you.